What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know who it is. It's y'all favorite Elsie Pooh. Can y'all with another banger? Y'all already know. I hope y'all living good, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Exercising your best. Um, exercising your best ways. Just, we want to be our best version of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We can't keep slacking. We can't keep talking about, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm this. No, this shit ain't going to go away. You're talking about, I'm tired. We got to get it together. You know what I'm talking about? We got to live life, love life. You know what I'm talking about? We got to be intrigued by the shit that we want to do. We got to be self-disciplined. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot we need to do. But check this out. I'm going to come to y'all with part two. Other story, because like I told y'all, I'm going to be more consistent. Because I've been consistent. But I have my own life I had to deal with. You know what I'm talking about? So when life be life and I can't be on here all the time. This can't come before me. This can't come before my mental health. This can't come before my sanity. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I get overwhelming. You got too many. You got, it'd be a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you need to take a break. And whoever rock with me, rock with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to keep a million forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do what I do. So let's check this out. Like I told you, we was in the club, right? And I seen her kissing. And I'm like, okay. So when they unlock lips, I'm like... That's the dude from the job that I could have sworn I seen fighting her husband. So now I'm looking like, now I know Leaf. Leaf just came to this job. He didn't know nobody. He like he didn't get brought here through a homeboy, through a cousin, through nobody. So I'm like, you feel me? Like, what's really going on? So I look and I'm like, okay. But then when they stop kissing, I see her turn. And she kissed somebody else. And I said, okay. Let me mind my business because in my mind, it's a lot of couples that allow other people in their relationship. So let me mind my business. Now, I remind you, I'm wavy. So even though I done recorded a little bit, I done put my phone back down. I'm out of their business at this point because I, be honest, I really don't care. I'm just nosy. So, we sitting there, we partying, we having a good time, whatever. I go to the bathroom. Come back from the bathroom, my homegirl come from the dance floor. She like, who is that girl? And I'm like, what girl? She was like, this is crazy. And I'm like, what girl? She like the girl over there. I don't see no girl. Right? I'm like, what is she talking about? I'm thinking my own girl, my own girl loaded. You know what I'm saying? She tripping. She don't know what she's talking about. So we keep on. I end up ordering us some food. We eating, you know, how I get. We drunk eating. So now we feeling good. We get another drink. You already know we finna kill it before the club end. So the other home girl was like, man, see y'all ate. And I wanted to go eat. I'm like, if you want to go eat, you can go eat. It's not a problem. I'll go with y'all. You feel me? I'm just not hungry. So we go. We chilling. The night ends smoothly. Simple as that. Next day, I go to work. I'm in here chilling. I see Leaf. I still got a low key attitude, so I don't say nothing to him. He walk up to me. He like, man, look, man, it's it's been it's been too long, bro. Like I was upset. I didn't mean to come at you like that. You know what I'm saying? It was just, man, my own mind was messing with me, so I didn't mean to get at you like that. Like, come on, pull, like. You don't miss talking to me, which I did, because Leaf is like a real cool dude, like he funny, you know what I'm saying, he's smooth, he is a person you would love to work with, and on top of loving to work with him, he the type like, if you if you don't know something at work, or like you slack it, he the type, you know how you type slow, he'll be like, what you need me to type, he'll be like, oh that paragraph, he doesn't, you know what I'm saying, like he really a cool dude. Sound like pool. Take the chip off your shoulder. And so I still had an attitude. I was like, whatever. He was like, Well, I apologize and whenever you ready to, you know what I'm saying, accept my apology, I would like to take you to lunch. And I'm like, nah, cause remember, <laughs> you know, I don't need you to like me, you know, flirt with me. He like, man, come on, man. He like, dang, I'm over here like trying to talk to you for real. He like, you keep being petty. I'm like, so what? He like, come on, pull. He like, man, I was having a bad day. I was in my feelings. Like, it's all good. Like, I'm like, nah, it ain't. He like, man. So he going about his business. 
we working or whatever. It's lunchtime. I walk past. I low key bumped this chair on purpose. Like I kinda like bumped it. And I called myself about to walk past. That nigga grabbed my arm and was like, hey. When he grabbed my arm, I was like. I was like, what? He like, don't do that. I'm like, don't do what? He like, you ain't never bumped my chair before. He like, don't bump my chair. Don't play with me like that. He like, you can be mad all you want to. He like, but don't play with me like that. I was like, oh. I said, oh, it's cool for you to crack a joke. Oh, but I can't bump your chair. He like, oh, so we cool now? I'm like, we ain't gonna never be cool. He like, man, let me take you to lunch. I'm like, whatever. So, we only went downstairs in the cafeteria. You know, we got a full cafeteria. They make, you know, they make everything. Good food, I ain't gonna lie. We go downstairs, we sit at the table, we eating. He like, man, you need to chill out. Whoa, whoa, you can calm down, da, da, da. So, I see him looking at my hand. But I don't pay no attention. But then I looked at my hand. You know how you go to the club and you take a bath and you wash your body, but I didn't scrub that stamp off. Right? I didn't scrub that stamp off. That stamp off. He was like, where you went last night? And I was like, what you going on? He was like, your hand. I was like, oh, to this little club. He was like, oh, okay. Now, remind you, I'm not even putting two and two together at this time because I ain't thinking he trying to get no information out of me about the club. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he just genuinely asking because he ain't saying nothing negative about his wife. Like, he always seemed cool. So, he was like, how was it? I was like, it was cool. It was cracking, whatever, and like that. He was like, yeah, my wife said she saw you. You ain't talk to my wife last night at the club. At the club. Here. Yeah. I did see. I said, man, bro, I was so lit. Bro, I literally forgot. I'm like, bro, I was so loaded last night. I'm like, I forgot I did run that tour. I'm like, bro, I forgot all about it. He said, yeah. Her and her brother went out in their homegirls. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, for sure. Now, my burger then came. He went and got our food. And now my stomach kind of rumbling. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, that's her brother? <laughs> so I bite the burger. He like, whoa, whoa, we talking. I'm like, look, when we get into it, I'm like, from now on, you know, we grown. I ain't gonna be petty. That uh, he like for sure. I appreciate it. He like, but I do apologize. I was just in a bad mood, so I asked him. I'm like, what you was in a bad mood for? He like, cause he like my cousin had pissed me off. Whoa, whoa. and I was like, oh, okay. And then he asked me. He was like, you know, as a female, like. If your man asks you not like to wear certain shit, you still go wear it. And I said, I ain't gonna lie. It depends on what it is. He was like, so if your man genuinely, like if you and your man genuinely going somewhere and he asks you not to wear a certain outfit, he like, you wouldn't change. I said, that's different. I said, because if my man asking me to change because we going to a particular place, clearly it's his people, you know, somebody we around. Maybe what I got on is a little too revealing. You know what I'm saying? I said, so I can always understand that. He like, man, I can't. He like, my wife. He like, she just. He like, you know, he like, I'm really a, you know, a nigga. He like, and the old me would have tore that shit off of her. He like, but I don't get down like that no more, pool. You know what I'm saying? He like, I'm genuinely trying to change my way. Hold on. Hello. 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 Who is this? Niche? Girl, don't do that. Because, girl, I'm literally on my doing a damn video. Girl, don't do that. Girl, I'll be sending it up right now. Because, you know why? Because my iCloud is hooked up to both of my, uh, my iCloud hooked up to both of my iPhones. So, both of my phones ring. And the one your number stored in, I ain't see it. <laughs> That's why I'm like, who is it? What? <laughs> I'm at home. 
Girl, don't play. I got my outfit on. Girl. <laughs> he is. I'm so bad because it would be the time, but we already, we had to exit somebody, so I'm already at home. I'm so irritated. What y'all doing? What's up? With, he he chilling right now. All right, let me finish this video. I might just slide up there. All right. Goddamn job. Now, let me tell y'all. Let me, let me tell y'all. So, my job just called and said, Junior here, you want to dance? I told y'all. Let y'all leave on a little secret. So, a couple of celebrities, they live in our facility. Like, I ain't going to call them celebrities, but people that have been in movies. So, one of the people is old boy from Players Club. So, every time I see him, I be like, I just came to dance with y'all. That's it. So, my co-workers is calling like, Junior here, you ready to do the bachelor party? That's that was. Anyway, let's get back on to this. So, he was just telling me he was mad at his cousin or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. Then he was asking me about, would you change the way you dress? And I was like, yeah. I said, because situations like that, of course. Your man asks you something, he asks you for a reason. And sometimes a person don't want to take you around their family knowing that they uncles and their cousins is perverts. You know what I'm saying? For you to be dressed a certain way. Or whatever like that. And so, and I was like, oh, he was like, you know. She get with her homegirls and she just be doing the most. I said, because that's when you with your friends. You know, you want to match they fly. They got on little dresses. You want to put on your little dress. You want to have fun. I said, but I do get what you're saying. He like, man, I don't care how she dress when she go out. You know what I'm saying? He was like, but she got to think about me too in the situation I've been in and who I am. I'm like, absolutely. I said, respect, there's respect. He was like, but it's all good. He was like, um, I'm going on this little, basically like a little retreat. Him and his homeboys was going to him. And I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. You know, that's what's up. Or whatever. And so, a couple of days later, we get back to work or whatever. And then I asked him. I was like, oh, you going on your retreat this weekend? He was like, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. He said, what y'all doing this weekend? And this is the weekend of, like, this was probably the last year, I think, of Summer Jam. Right? This had to be, like, the last year they was doing Summer Jam or something. Right? So, at this particular time, it was us, like all the six O's. It was, it, it was all the Crips. Like, we was all going. So, that weekend, we go to Summer Jam. I don't know how I keep running into this damn girl. But I see her. I don't say nothing to her. I try to avoid her at this point because I don't know the dynamics of their relationship. And I really didn't even want to be involved. Just so happened when I go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom because we just snuck liquor in. So I'm I'm in there, pulling out bottles. We filling up cups. Like she end up coming in. She like, dang, pool. Why are you doing? I'm like, what's up? She like, why you so dry? I said nothing, man. I said I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I said I don't know how I keep running into you. She like, cause we got the same taste. I'm like, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but you know, you you my coworker wife. So I don't be, you know what I'm saying? She like, shit, I'm, I ain't nothing right now. I said, oh, well, that ain't got nothing to do with me. She like, no, I do me. Woo -woo -woo. I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, I don't know the dynamics of y'all relationship. And to be honest, I truly don't care. And I just don't even want to run into you because I just don't care. Right? The bitch said, well, if you don't care, it shouldn't matter if you run into me. Check me down, bitch. <laughs> She said, so it don't matter. You see me, you don't see me. I said, exactly fucking right. I see you and I don't see you. She like, but it ain't no beef between me and you. You know, like, she like, why you so, basically said, why you so mad? I'm like, I ain't mad. She like, mm. But in my mind, like, bitch, you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I probably was low-key hating. So my homegirl, like, anyway, we pouring up liquor. She like, oh, shit, y'all got liquor in, woo -woo. I'm like, ain't nobody finna buy these watered down ass drinks. Boom, bam. We go back out there. We chilling. I promise you, I was not looking for this girl. So I turn to the right and I see her. And I see a girl holding her booty. You know, while they dancing and shit. Because literally, we probably was only 20 feet away from each other. Like, we was in section A. Nigga, they was in section C. Like, it literally was like our row right here, the middle row, then her row. So basically, we was in the same section, just on different sides. But if I look, 
I could see her. Now I see a girl holding her from the back. I ain't tripping. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't. I ain't got nothing to say. Nothing. She doing her thing. My home girl all night. Like damn, what she? What she in a? What she in a? Like a, a brothel? Like I'm like, what you talking about? He like she like one day I see her kissing a nigga. Now I'm see her with this girl. What is going on? I said, man, mind your business. She said, you don't want to put me in it. I said, bitch, you get on my nerves. She said, nah, no, you get on my nerves. So I'm like, whatever. They do what they do. You know, they having fun, kissing, hugging. I ain't got nothing to say. It ain't my business. I go back to work. When I go back to work, now, this is where the shit gets started. We wasn't the only ones with the summer jam. Remind you, I went with the people I went with, right? I knew the couple of people I came with from work that came with us. But I've been knowing them before we even started work, right? So, them was just regular homegirls. So, we all went. I didn't know of anybody else that went. So, now, we back to work on Monday. Leave, he come. We go to lunch. He at lunch. I said, well, how your retreat go? He said, man, I really, he was like, I needed that. And I was like, what did, what did y'all go do? Did y'all just go chill? He said, no, no, no. We went, we studied the Bible, we did this, we did that. I'm like, oh, you went on like a men's retreat. He said, yeah. I said, oh, I thought you was going on like a getaway with your homeboys and y'all just was going to relax and like regroup. He said, no. So he had went to the ministry like men retreat. They had went for a couple of days in a little cabin or something. And they, uh, you know, they studied the Bible. They did what they did. They talked to other people that was married. It was one of them type of retreats. I'm like, oh, that was good. So as I'm sitting there, as he's telling me, right, and he's being so passionate about it. Like, man, I realize stuff I need to work on. I shouldn't expect from her. I need to work on me. Da, 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 da. And he's sitting there talking to me. I'm like, damn. Right. He was like, I just want good people around me, you know. I don't want nobody that's around me that's going to be deceitful, that's going to be a liar. He like, I'm not dealing with that. You know, I done came a long way. I'm like, I totally understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. I get it, right? Baby. As we sitting at the table. One of the bitches that I went to the party with. To the concert with. They sit on the side of him. So we sitting at a lunch table. I'm right here. He right here. We laughing and talking. And he like got tears in his eyes. Because you can tell he's happy. With the way he's trying to go in life. This messy ass bitch. Sit on the side of us. And say. Pooh you tell him we seen his wife at the concert. What? You didn't tell him we seen his wife at the concert? He like, you seen my wife at the concert? She like, yeah. I said, I don't remember seeing his wife at the concert. She like, oh my God, you was faded. Because, bitch, you, you better catch your own fast. I'm like, I don't remember seeing her. She like, you was loaded. Like, remember? She was over there with that girl. They was dancing. Bro, I'm getting aggravated because he is in the middle of, like, being proud of himself. And here you come with this bullshit. That motherfucker looked at her and said, with what girl? He said, she was with a girl and a boy. And he was like, oh, probably her homegirl and her brother. The bitch said, oh, you want to see? I got a video. And pulls out her phone. Baby, she pulled out that phone. And that man look at that video. All I seen was that motherfucking phone go to the ground. She like, hey. He like, you got me fucked up. We like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was like, that's my motherfucking.